Today we're actually getting a new animal. You guys know that I always love getting new animals. We have to get a lot of new stuff because we have a lot of new exhibits that are going to happen across the street. Not to give away what we're getting, but I will say over the last couple years, I've definitely become a turtle nut. How are you? Good. What do you got? So this is the Diamondback Terrapin. Oh. Can I hold him? Yeah, he's a mean guy a little bit. Okay. okay. We've oh. had him for about six seven years oh, he used to fit in the palm of my hand this is a diamondback terrapin and basically Lori was very excited to hear from you guys they want to donate him to us thank you you don't find these guys in captivity that much anymore very special that we're going to be getting him and he's going to be a new addition here at the raptarium yeah. he's so cute isn't he adorable? You say he's got some attitude though? Yeah! Got some attitude. We're definitely gonna have to set him up. Don't worry, Mike, I got this. She is a lot heavier than she looks. Oh, 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 okay, okay. This is Josh, the new Diamondback Terrapin, and basically, we just got him. It <laughs> so, Of course, we have to quarantine him, find a tank or something to put him in for a while. Ooh, this... he's the squirmy little guy. Give me him. You're gonna kill him. He's not even good at math. That's how we're looking. Set him in here. That's got dirt. We've got this thing right here. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. It's got a big crack at the bottom covered in tape. Maybe not that one. No what about that that tank right over there? Those are fine. We can use those because they're not getting used for anything. That's some good deductive reasoning, Jay. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I've been practicing problem solving <laughs> skills. We have too many pizzas. Down Somebody here. say pizza. We have pizzas. All right, let's go back upstairs. Let's not forget the turtle. I'm coming. Name. I just don't like when you tell me to come. <laughs> you need to put the rumors to rest. I'm married. Beautiful. Latino man for two Carlos. years now at least, I think. No, I'm just kidding. It's in, in May, it's two years. And that's why I speak Spanish. It's not because I learned it from Mike. That's for sure. Raton. I think it would be easier if we set it up here because there's no space there. So we'll do it here and then we can relocate. Oh, we have to just put water and a filter in. Oh, I thought we were going to do something cool. Like we a... don't have like rocks and stuff for them. This is just quarantine. There's no. rocks. We live on Earth, Mike. There, we just. Have... I don't have like any river pebbles. We're in the Great Lakes state. So go get some rocks from Lake Michigan. If you look at a Michigan license plate, it says a winter water wonderland. Yeah, those are weird license plates. I know. It didn't even snow that much. It's like not really a winter wonderland. It's not. You guys know that I love my fly river turtles. I'm just feeding some algae pellets to Ike here. Of course, these guys are from Australia and New Guinea, and I just can't imagine how awesome it's gonna be. We have large enclosures across the street. There's a chance that actually one of them might stay here at the Reptarium. Where Bowser is, because we'll move Bowser across the We're street. originally gonna get another couple big alligator snapping turtles, but I'm not sure that this is gonna happen now. So having one of these in Bowser's enclosures, like almost like a sea turtle, would be pretty freaking dope. There's no doubt about it. Just some of the coolest little turtles I've ever seen in my entire life. I love them to death. And again, you can actually even have these in a big enclosure that has a bunch of fish in it too which might be a thing that we do too right you know have fish and a turtle it's just gonna look so awesome well josh welcome home oh come on no i'm just joking we're gonna fix it up you know make it a little nicer perfect can we print out a background for it on a piece of paper background yeah like what do you mean? like you know a picture sure uh, we have okay with the size yeah no that's fine okay sent what? Dang, Connie, is this a lid to a 55 gallon tank? This is all I could find. Okay. Look at this awesome background we just made. That's perfect. And we just have one more addition to it. That came out crappy. What's up, Connie? Looks great. Thank you. What's, uh, I, I think we're the... missing one important detail though. A lamp? Water. Oh. So much for a background. It's like a it's solid kind of like 11 a... inches, Connie. That's a huge background. It's almost a billboard. Hi! <laughs> this looks... I thought she got the phone. Oh, he's peeing on me! It's okay, because I love you. Alright, uh-oh. We're floating. This is fantastic! Well, I hope it's heavy enough. Fantastic. We have to go show Noah, and then we'll put the lights on, okay? I'd say we put the most effort into this than anything we've ever done before, Mike. Raycon, thank you for sponsoring this video. You guys are awesome, been working with you so long, and I listen to Raycons all the time. And they are on a mission so that you don't have to pay top dollar for quality, sound, and essential smart tech features. It's a no BS product. And thanks to Raycon, you're paying half the price for an equal, if not better, quality device. That way you might get an extra pair because you're gonna be paying about the same price for two of them as you would some of these high-end brands that way overcharge you for something that honestly isn't as good as Raycon. Raycon knows in this economy, 
every purchase you make has to be perfect. They offer buy now, pay later options. Pay as low as $18 at checkout. Get two years product protection insurance for just a few bucks. They offer free domestic shipping and can ship international at a flat rate. And they have an easy and free return policy. There's no wonder that there's 50,000 five-star reviews. They offer a ton of sound profiles as well. My favorite is the bass just because I like heavy music and I like things to sound really good. Even when I'm doing meditation, sometimes those beats actually really are great with that heavy bass sound and it's super easy to switch from different sound profiles. All you do is hold L for three seconds and it changes the profile. They also have a really cool feature that I love. Basically, if you want to just be in yourself and not actually have anything around you, you do the noise isolation. But if you want to listen to your music or your podcast or whatever it is, but you want to be able to hear around you, that's when you use the awareness mode so that you can actually still hear your surroundings. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash Brian B to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Weirdly enough, my kind of start of obsessing about turtles came when I was a little kid. There was a pet shop that actually had a two-headed turtle that I just absolutely fell in love with. I thought it was so cool. So I would go to this pet shop just to see this two-headed turtle, never thinking that one day that we would own not only one, but three two-headed turtles. And you know, there's so many amazing turtles. I think that turtles are probably the most underrated reptile out there. There are just a gazillion different species, sizes, look. They are so cool. I could definitely go down the rabbit hole when it comes to turtles. There's no doubt about it. If there's a downside to turtles is they do take a lot more care and they are water feature. It makes it a little harder to go crazy with turtles. But I tell you what, they are freaking awesome. Because Brian, you gotta check out our six setup for our new Diamondback Terrapin. What the heck are you doing? What is, what is this? So, basic right now, just quarantine. Quarantine, obviously. But he's got his rock he can get up on if he wants to. All right. He can hide underneath it, which he's been doing a lot. And his name is Josh. It's How beautiful. great I is that? Like, that's a cool turtle. A Diamondback Terrapin. Yeah, but what yeah. about the background? You like the background too? It's uh, it's creative. Thanks. It's yeah. a, it means a lot. But these are really cool. And these are what, they're actually what they call a brackish turtle. They come from like areas that are in like the deltas that lead to the sea, basically the marshy areas. So that brackish water has basically got a little salt in it as well, right? You can't actually adjust these to full fresh water, but, but you typically a little bit of salt is actually good for them. Definitely uh, have to do a little bit better with the setup here, Mike. I'm sorry. It's good for now, but we'll get we'll get Jessica on fixing up something really cool for this guy. His name is Josh, huh? So, mm -hmm. okay, so we'll get Josh all set up. I'm sure Jessica will do a little bit better and maybe she'll use the same backdrop. It took so much work. Did you see the one that Mike and Connie made for Josh? It was in there. You didn't see the whole well, enclosure with- Yeah, I did. The backdrop didn't- It wasn't working. So we're gonna do another one. Jess, did you see the awesome enclosure that Connie and Mike made? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the poster. Let's see what we got here. Proper care. Oh. This is the biggest reason I bought the kit because this looked like a really good filter. Way yes. better than the other thing we were gonna try. So. Oh, well, this is great. I'm glad we have this foil because that was so awesome. We got some shrimp and turtle food and rep to save. Which way do we want the... Probably, that way. probably so that. Probably turn around a bit more this way. How are we gonna fill this with water with buckets, probably? Yeah. We should probably rinse our, our gravel to put the <laughs> an aquarium. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> this looks a little more complicated. <laughs> Does it have to screw all the way in? I don't yeah. think it's coming apart. All right. Next. This one has holes, this one doesn't. So which one does this? Holes? The holes is probably this one that goes along. Am I missing it? needs to go like this. This one. Now we gotta put stuff in this. Freaking algebra. So kids, when they say you'll never use it, so it looks like those go in the empty one. I'm glad we rinsed this first. <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna make the paint really good. What is that, charcoal? Yeah. What is that? I don't know, it's making noise. That's scary. The charcoal? All right, well, it's activated. <laughs> Fill it up, but also be able to put the lid on. So. Make sure it fits. 
And of course, Tyson, the little albino eastern box turtle, has woken up from his winter slumber and is cruising around now and just really starting to crush food again. For anyone that knows anything about box turtles, box turtles are especially really amazing animals. They have really interesting personalities. You know, not all turtles like people. You know, they're not all going to come up and hang out. But for whatever reason, box turtles have a lot of personality. And they'll literally sometimes you open up the thing and Tyson will just boom, 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 run right over you like, what's going on? Or feed me or something like that. I definitely love this little guy and he is just... Uh, he's just absolutely spectacular. We have some prime here. Terrapins like brackish water, but this one's been raised in fresh water, so we can't just throw it into brackish water because it'll mess up its skin. It's not used to it. So I've got prime here. This is going to remove chlorine from our tap water, basically, and make it safe for him. Game changer once you put that on, Jess. We'll do this last. Yeah, yeah, because that's really going to bring it to life. So Josh is going to love it. I mean, anything's better than what the heck he's living in now. So. Out. I bet Brian would have messed that one up. Him. Because according to Casey, she said he's pretty much full grown. Males stay small like that. Females get much larger and would need like a 55 gallon. <laughs> or one single plant. Okay, so you're in charge of decorating. Okay. Take full liberties, Jeff. <laughs> it just take me like three days to do, you know. I have a couple more pieces I'm gonna go pull out of that. <laughs> did the whole thing nice. Yeah, that's me. Look it. Look it. Look it. Look it. There it goes. Yay! <laughs> Is it that open? one looks like it's at max. Is the dot? I don't know. I turned it the other way. Oh, oh. yeah! Perfect. Maybe we should open up an aquarium. It's like fate. Good thing we don't have Mike. He'd be bleeding already. <laughs> Here, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on? We're taking your turtle. You taking Josh? Yeah, it's gonna be our office friend. You taking his uh his background? Yeah, actually, can you grab it for oh, me? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I can absolutely do that. I got his background. That's awesome. That looks so good. A little basking area. He should be nice and happy. And his little Josh sign. You gotta put it up more Tired. because it just says Tired. Tired. <laughs> it's Josh. Boom. Nailed it. So this enclosure is actually really dope. I love the fact that it has a little waterfall going on right there. This thing has a ton of personality. Diamondback terrapins are just a really cool animal. I mean, one of the prettier terrapins I think that there are. I mean, look at the dotting on it. Just look at it, it's trying to eat my finger. It's like, ah, it's such a little monster. It's crazy. I guess uh, Mike's backdrop ended up showing it. By the way, I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually know Josh. Uh, a little, not really know him, but I like acquaintance with him through David Dobrik and actually even saw him at the airport the last time that I was in LA. So Josh, uh, I hope that you enjoy your turtle. They did a wonderful job of this setup. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, hey, wander over here, Mike. Can you take these movies? Yeah. <laughs>